John says, I love your work. I am new to your talk show. And I'm listening to the Global Reality 719 11 Late Night Moonbat Show now. I'm just wondering if you had researched Sitchin is wrong website yet. If not, please do. And if you have, please let me know what you think. Thanks, John. Uh, okay, John, let me let me let me reemphasize as your new listener. Uh, and it's not your fault because you didn't hear me say this because you haven't listened to any previous shows where I stated this when I started reading um, the, the Lost Book of Inky by Zachary Sitchin. Uh, but please do go back and check YouTube and find those uh, shows where I talked about that, where I first started reading it, the beginning of it. And uh, I've stated many times throughout reading it that um, I don't always read things that I agree with. I don't always agree with with things that I read. Does that make sense? I'm simply putting things out in the court of public opinion and seeing if we can draw conclusions on them, uh, on the information based in them, based on things that we've researched and things that we've talked about on the show uh, and ideas that we have about uh, the power structure and who's really behind it and how deep it really goes and how far back the sacred information and the secret knowledge that the, the secret society has been hiding from us goes, real origins of that, origins of the priest class stuff, so that was my justification for reading both William Bramley's The Gods of Eden and uh, this uh, Lost Book of Inky, Zachary Sitchin thing. It's not an endorsement of S uh, Sitchin's work. I've never been a fan of his work. It's not an endorsement of the Nibiru thing. I'm not against that. I don't, it's not that I disbelieve it, but I'm not one of those people that believes it's coming. It's the Destroyer and all this stuff. I'm not in that camp. Uh, if you listen to the Red Eye show I did, I talked about Vulcan. Look into that. But... Um, so there you go. I, you know, I, I, I really, it's not, I don't really want to get into, um, you know, the people who, who do the debunkers versus Sitchin or Sitchin versus the debunkers. It's not what this is about or reading this is about at all. And uh, it's not a, you know, an, an endorsement or an agreement of the work or anything else. Uh, I'm simply presenting it in, uh, in, in, and I've never read it for myself. So, as I'm experiencing what's in these texts, even though I'm, you know, familiar with most of what we've read so far through reference to other work and other research and other things I've read, and some even some of other Sitchin's work mirrors a lot of what is in here. But um, I thought in, uh, people always one of the biggest questions I always get from people when talking about the reasonings behind, you know, the war in Iraq and going in and getting the antiquities and what, you know, what were they looking for there and these, you know, reptilian alien statues and the whole history of this and, uh, you know, the genetic manipulation of indigenous speak creatures to create a slave race and, and the meanings and the, really the explanations behind the New World Order itself and the priest class and the elite. Um, that's, you know, that's where all of that stuff has led. So for, my, for me reading it, you know, and reading it to you on the first, first time and understanding it, you sort of get these aha moments and we sort of come to... Um, some new beliefs and new understandings together. Again, you know, we're, it's just really for uh, research and reference purposes and, and maybe possibly that we will understand this stuff and, and not just say, because again, let me go back to what I was saying there. I lost my train of thought, but I remember what I was saying. Uh, you know, oftentimes we, we reference the, one of the biggest questions I always get is questions about the Sumerian uh, cylinder seals and the clay tablets and all this stuff. And one of the biggest things that I've heard with researchers and talk show hosts and movie, <clears throat> people make movies and all this stuff is they, they often reference these texts, but nobody seems to ever want to dive into them and what they're really saying and detail that out over an extended period of time. And I felt it was time to do that. I mean, that's the way I approach how I do my show, John, is, is you know, I, uh, I sort of look for the things that haven't, that, that I hear people talk about and then I understand are part of the equation. You know, everybody, everybody knows morals and dogma. Oh, it's, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. It's the, the sacred text of the Scottish Rite. Yeah, but have you, do you have a copy of it? Have you referenced it? Have you gone through it? Have you really tried to understand it, understand what it is, or do you just reference it as, you know, part of the Nomen's Clutch, just part of the, 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 the uh, you know, the conversation and the conspiracy speak and all that? My thing is I always went and got those books, went, went and tried to find out um, exactly what was in them, what's going on in them. My microphone's doing weird stuff again. I don't know what it is. I have a cable shorting out or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so not an endorsement of Sitchin's work. Not me saying that um, 
you know, this is 100% fact, but the, but the, the interesting thing about it is, is I'm finding more and more from reading it that there has been a reason why there has been so much emphasis put on attempting to debunk. It's not, you have to understand, it's not Stitchin. Stitchin is, is simply the mouthpiece. He's simply the, um, you know, the poster boy. So what you do is you make him look like a fool. It's easy. He did that himself with the things that he said that really backed up, you know, the ideas that the Jews are the God's chosen people. That's really what he, he, he really did a lot, a lot of times in, in some of his interpretations and whatnot. And so that's been the big thing of contention with him and why people have always, um, you know, because of that, and I have a problem with that myself, I'm not saying I don't, but it's because of that alone, that's all it took, that's all they had to do that his character is put that way, is have that one little thing in there where he's, you know, saying that the, 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 the Sumerian cylinder seal stuff verifies that the Jews are God's chosen people when it verifies that the Semites are, is what it says, not the Jews, Semites. See, that understanding of knowing that Arabics, Arabic populations are, are Semitic as well, Semitic populations as well, and that, that's what this genocide has been, who this genocide has been directed at by these people. And then you know that Saddam Hussein was getting ready to set up a library in Iraq prior to the invasion, just after 9-11, 2002, he was do, working on this. He was going to have a library full of all these ancient Sumerian cylinder seals <coughs> and tablets. And he was going to say that, he was going to actually not say, but show people, show the world you know, who the quote-unquote real uh, Semites were and the real God-chosen people were. He's going to show that it was these people that were indigenous to ancient Iraq, that the Iraqis were the true God's-chosen people because they came from these bloodlines of the Anunnaki that went back to prior to ancient Sumeria in the Ubaid period uh, of what was then uh, ancient Mesopotamia, what was then known as Sidonia. On the 33rd degree parallel, same as Sidonia um, on Mars, which is the part of Mars where the face is, where the uh, pyramids are. That's all explained. You know, that's in these 5,000-year-old texts. Um, so, you know, the, the, the big thing of it is, is they, because Sitchin made that uh, bullshit connection, in, in, in most people's minds, that discredits what is in these texts. We don't, who gives a fuck about Sitchin? Leave him out of this. We're talking about what is in these ancient texts what is in these ancient manuscripts, these ancient Sumerian cylinder seals? This is what we're talking about, not his view on the phony state of Israel or whatever have you. But that's, that's what they do. It's the same thing they do with Eric John Phelps. You know, because he's obviously a racist, Nazi, Zionist, uh, you know, Zio Diamond salesman, admitted Zionist, um, that in the mind of most people discredits all of his information when I have yet to find any information that he's put out concerning the Jesuits and the CMP and everything else that I can discredit with my own research. I mean, I don't like the guy when I owed him, but, you know, um, I can't discredit the worries, but that's what they do. That is an intentional thing. And whether or not these people are aware that they are that or not is, is, is a completely different story. That's pretty hard to prove. But they, they try to take, they throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's what they do. That's the best way to put it. I throw the baby out with the bathwater, and because, you know, Sitchin was a fed Israel supporter or, you know, um, Eric John Phelps is a Nazi uh, separatist, Zio Diamond salesman, they focus on the person, not the information, and then they do the, they do the same, they try to do the same thing to me. These people that attack me and say shit about me on their shows or, or in chat rooms or whatever else, but they always are focusing on me and, and my alleged character or what they allegedly think about me or anything else. They just make stuff up most of the time. And, um, you know, they, they attack me with that. But um, it, <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just mind-blowing to see. I, and I, it just, it's just staggering, this stuff. Anyway, um. I, you know, that's the best I can say it, man. I'm not supporting Zachariah Sitchin by reading this book. I'm not